we're going to talk a little bit about the PTO lockout system on walk behind tractors. <clears throat> this here is your PTO lockout kind of interface right here. This is showing a, a BCS 853 walk behind tractor, but many of the BCS tractors have a similar system uh, dating back to about uh, roughly 1990. It's more or less the same thing. Anyway, the design of the PTO lockout is such that when the tractor is in the soil working mode, that is the rear PTO mode, so you'd be running a tiller, a rotary plow, power harrow, or something like this, the PTO lockout prevents you from engaging the implement, or the PTO, to drive the implement while the tractor is in the reverse mode. That is, in the, the wheels are going this way, going backwards uh, with those implements on it. You can't engage the PTO. The way it works is pretty simple. This is the reverse linkage here. It's getting moved by the reverse lever up on the handlebars, being moved, moved, moved via a cable. This would be reverse with the tractor in tilling mode. This would be forward. This is the PTO lever. This is engaged. This is disengaged. Well, when this thing's in reverse, you can't engage the PTO. The parts bump together right here. And if you've got the PTO engaged and you get to the end of the row and you decide, oh, I'm going to back up, you pull the thing into reverse and guess what? That little ramp urgh, pops the PTO out of gear. So you haven't tilled your feet up. That's good. You live to walk another day problem arises when this system is compromised by essentially corrosion and or negligence. What commonly happens is you have your walk behind tractor say for many months or even many years with a soil working implement on it. And one day you decide to switch the handlebars around to the other side, put a mower or snow blower on the thing, and suddenly the PTO won't function. Why? Well, it's because what needs to happen when you turn the handlebars around is when you pop, when you swing the handlebars around, you take the shift lever, you rotate the shift lever around, so this PTO lockout device goes away. It's not in the way of this thing anymore. Why? Because the tractor now has to go this way. If you put a front PTO implement on it and your handlebars are facing the other direction, the forward direction of the tractor is now reverse what it used to be. So it's driving in what used to be reverse to go forward, which means now that this thing is out of the way, we can run it in this direction. I just move this thing and I can still engage the PTO. However, what sometimes happens through long periods of misuse or just you know non-use of the PTO lockout swivel here is it'll freeze right here. Most people who have this problem think that this and this are the same piece. Oh, it's all one piece. Well, it's not. This is two separate pieces. One is supposed to swivel very easily within the other to allow this to engage and disengage depending on handlebar position. So, <clears throat> you know, it's a good idea to spray that down with penetrating oil every now and then if you're not turning your handlebars around regularly, or even if you are. If you have to use a lot of force to get this to turn around, then it definitely is time to lubricate it. In fact, this one, I can hear that when I turn it around, sometimes there's a little squeaking noise, which means the lubricant that's in here is about gone and it's time to lube it. So if this freezes up and won't turn around, uh, you can soak it with penetrating oil, you can put a little heat to it with a propane torch, you can grab it here with a, like a, a, a vice grips or a channel ox or something and try to get it freed up. Because if you put too much force on it with this le the, the shift rod that you would normally shift gears with, you're putting the force on it via a plastic joint. And you're going to twist that plastic joint off really fast if you put a lot of hertz to this thing. If this thing is frozen and you just try like heck to swivel it, you're going to shear that plastic off of there or deform it so badly that it can't be used. What some folks will do is they'll put, the, put their, say, their snowblower on, go to turn the handlebars around, and they find, huh, this thing is frozen. It won't move. And they think, oh, well, maybe it wasn't designed to turn around. Maybe it was designed to flip over. So they'll bring it over this way. Well, guess what? This plastic joint has a little stop here that's, hi, Wally. Wally the shop cat is giving his input. Um, this has a stop here which is designed to sort of dissuade you from turning it all the way over. It's molded in such a way that it won't let you do that. Well, that doesn't stop people. They've got two feet of leverage up here and they'll just force that down, deform that plastic, and then try to use the thing anyway. Well, of course, this is still in the way, so it's not going to allow you to engage the PTO while you're in the forward mode of the tractor. So now you've got to buy a new joint as well as get this thing freed up. The, none of the shift rods are designed to flip over. All the shift rods rotate around. 
So that concludes this segment. Call us if you need any assistance.